Ebola virus. What difference? Jim Crow Day. Most radical. It's time to try something new. Hey, everybody, welcome to News Busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. House Speaker John Boehner announced his resignation. Boehner realized that no matter how hard he tried, it was virtually impossible for him to cave into President Obama any more than he already has. <laughs> President Obama hosted a state dinner for Chinese President Xi Jinping, and China's president brought good news to the White House. At the moment, China has no plans to foreclose. <laughs> Last week, Pope Francis addressed a joint session of Congress where he denounced ISIS. Sadly, ISIS fears the Pope more than they fear President Obama. <laughs> Pope Francis also visited the White House last week, but His Holiness was confused by Vice President Biden, who congratulated the Pope on the Cardinals having the best record in baseball. <laughs> In a radio interview, Pope Francis blamed the world's refugee crisis on the God of Money. Who does the Pope think he is? Bernie Sanders? <laughs> Some say Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker may have dropped out of the race too soon. The latest polls still show Walker well ahead of Jim Gilmore. <laughs> As you've probably heard, Dr. Ben Carson said he wouldn't support electing a Muslim president. But according to a recent poll, 29% of Americans already think it's too late. <laughs> and finally, Caitlyn Jenner will not be prosecuted for vehicular manslaughter in that Malibu car crash earlier this year. So Caitlyn, if you're watching, you go girl. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Buzz and everybody, I'm Jody Miller. Be sure to subscribe to our videos on YouTube. We'll catch you next time.